Hi, welcome back to Repairing Lawnmowers for Profit. Seven, I've got a few more mowers after last week's, uh, sorry, last week's, yesterday's disaster of this mower uh, engine, which was taken off. We've got all the bits ready to go. And we're just cleaning a few bits off, aren't you, mate? Put it on shower for me, mate. Make all dust come off for me. Um, we've got another one here, if you remember this one. This is another one that starts up, that revs up and down. And uh, if you've not seen it previously in the videos, I've actually uploaded a, a detailed a uh, video set of how to replace the diaphragm and gasket on these bridge and strap mowers it's actually uh, come off part of the DVD that I sell called Repairing Lawnmowers for Profit which you'll find at the website which is RepairingLawnmowersForProfit.com that's actually a, a full uh, video breakdown of how to replace this diaphragm and gasket and that's exactly the job I'm going to do on this mower it's one I do on most of these I get in whether sometimes whether it needs it or not I'll just do it anyway it's for the sake of a, a couple of pounds you don't want any problems so this one revs up and down, it appears to be working fine, it all starts up and stops as it should. It's not kicking back when I start it, it just wants service enough. So I've changed the plug in this one just to check it wasn't that on previous videos if you go back and watch those. And uh, I'm going to do the diaphragm and gasket on this. Right. right, so just as a recap I'll just fire this up and we'll just uh, have a listen to how it's running. tell it's running lumpy. If you look on here as well as a, all these handles are really really loose. Can you see that buddy when you're filming? These handles are really really loose. This all wants tightening up. So I'm going to tighten them up. I'm going to do this. I've actually put a plug in it already. I've not even checked the oil. You come around this side and film around there. We'll look at this oil and see what it looks like in here. Shh. So I keep singing on my videos. I can hear you know when I'm editing them in the kitchen. You going mm 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 mm. Ah, yeah. you like singing, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, maybe we'll do a separate video with just you singing on, on your yeah. own. and sing a song about lawnmowers. Are you looking oh. at this dipstick, dipstick? Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll have a look at that. Let's just mm. check that and see how much is in there, actually. Okay. Mm. Right, let's just have a quick look at that. Looks like there's, I mean, it's hard to tell I've started it up and not really tested it. it looks mm. like there's a lot in there, actually. Let's just try it. As I said in the previous videos, you have to thread these right into check, so I'll just drop it in. And just thread it down a bit. We'll just take that back out a minute. We'll just see how much oil we've got in here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not bad actually. It's, can you can you see that? It's actually pretty full. Is that? It's not too dirty either. It doesn't look too bad on that really. So I don't know if I'm going to even bother doing that. To be fair, it's not too bad. Let's just try it in again. Yeah, there's enough in there. It's fairly clear. I'm going to leave the oil on that one. I'll just, uh, when I write the listing out, if I sell it on eBay, I'll just um, write out that it's clean, the oil is fairly clean in there, but it's not been replaced, so I'm sure that'll be okay as long as it's not black. People don't mind, so that's one less job. Of course, if I get uh, a couple of minutes, I will actually just do it for good measure. So the pull cord is good on this one, done that before. The plug's good. Let's just go on this side, you come around here, let's have a look underneath and see what state it's in. Before I do anything else, I'm just going to drop the height down on this. Right to the bottom, just in case when I'm testing it, I actually can get my foot under air. I always like to make sure that I don't get my feet under. Just drop this down to the lowest height. I always lift it up again when you come to sell it, by the way. So you get people with grass that's about, you know, three foot long, and they'll leave it like here. And then if it's got a belt on, which this one hasn't, they'll drag the belt off. Um, what was I going to do, mate, when I was down here? Can you remember? Oh, yeah, I was going to take this spark plug off, wasn't I? Right, okay, sorry buddy, I've just got dirt on you. Right, Mr. Cameron, are you ready? So I've taken this uh, spark plug lead off. Let's just take this and have a look underneath. Yeah, this blade looks a little bit blunt. There's quite a lot of grass. Can you see the grass under there? I want all that off as well, don't we? So I'll probably give that a go with a jet wash underneath that one. I will wire brush it off, but we'll take the blade off on this one. So it's got a carburetor that wants doing, and it's uh, also got the blade that wants sharpening, and that's pretty much all apart from these handles aren't bolting on the cables all look okay at the top as well it should be fairly well looked after as well cosmetically it's quite good so let's do the carb, let's do the blade and let's get these handles back on okay. right let's just take this uh, filter box off just cut my finger a little bit actually let's take this off we'll just check that all these before I do anything with the car we always like to check that the springs are all there no one's put a piece of fence through them like the last videos and that they're all moving alright so can you see on here can you see this 
Let's have here. I'll just take this off. See, this now I can tell already that all those, the springs are attached on here, that somebody's actually been in here. You can tell, if you see this tab here, it's actually been bent over. Someone's bent this over here just to try and get it running a bit better or a bit faster. Hopefully it will eliminate the problem, but it's not worked. So let's just put that back, you know, in a vertical position, which is where it should be. Let's fire it up and see how it runs. Now this, I tried to film this on a previous video. This is basically the, th the throttle. They don't really do a lot on one of these, but a lot of people do, as these people have done here is uh, just bend this tab down and what that does is it just stops it moving about and it just means your springs are in a consistent position so it doesn't pull back any further than that don't worry don't try and get it running right by moving all this about because you won't have any joy the diaphragm and gasket needs to be correct and these springs all need to be free let's just fire it up again with them in the correct position and see how it uh, is actually running yeah right let's try this one now it's let's just check it I always do that Put this back on, don't forget. Yeah, it's even worse, that's why uh, that's why people have bent this tab over, you see. So I'm gonna take that off. This is a previous video, I'm gonna do the day from and gasket on it. Let's have a look in the drawer, let's take this handle up first. What have we got here? Look, the spying on us. Look, David, the spying on us looks so they can repair their aeroplane. What do you think? Oh, look, he's waving at you. Can you see him? Wave back then. That's it. Yeah, this uh, air filter, just looking at that's really black. That's covered in oil as well as that. I thought that might be the reason it won't run right, but there's a lot of oil actually. If you look on this car, there's a lot of oil everywhere. It wants to take it off and it wants to go clean off. And all those cooling fins won't clean that as well. So if you can hold that, mate, we'll have a look at this. Uh, what we're going to look at is these. You see these handles? Can you see them? Yeah? yeah you can, yeah, all right. You're allowed to speak, you know. You've been quiet because you're filming. Yes. Right, what we'll do with these is we'll just, uh, just tighten these up a bit as well, can't we? annoying actually when you get them and they're really they're really slack and you've got to tighten them all up get that nice and tight and I'll do the other side one exactly the same here can you see over there I'll put this in the centre as well and I'll find some more parts and we'll put them on that side I've just started this handle I've just put some more bolts to it it's nice and tight now I don't think this one's going to fall apart anyway this one looks nice and secure let's check for that on a few uh, different ones but uh, anyway this one looks okay I'm going to take this carburetor off, we're doing a bit of tidy. We're going to get rid of some bits that we might not need. I don't like throwing bits out, do I, mate? No. I've got too many of the same thing, haven't I? I don't really want to have to sell them all. So, you know, having a bit of a tidy up, and I'm going to take this one off, and we'll have a look at this. Just while I've got this air filter off, this is for anybody who's taken these governor springs off. I've done previous videos of this before. If you're wondering where they go, hopefully this will help you out. The little one goes across there, it all just hooks through there, the tab like that. Basically, it's just two springs that both hook onto this... Uh, this little loop here and this linkage must go right through this governor flap assembly arm here must go right through there and everything should move freely like that so if you've lost your governor springs or you, you want to fit some more that's how they go on if you can't get this hook out of here by the way I had someone email me this the other day saying they can't get this out and they can't get it back in I get it all the time it's, all you've got to do to get this hook through this governor flap assembly here is basically take the two bolts out one here and one on the cab and as you pull this off here what I like to do is just unhook that there from the bottom. It's a difficult little arm. I just normally tilt it until I get it off. Be a little bit fiddly, especially when you've got a camera in your hand. But if you can leave everything attached, my, my point here is if you leave these two springs attached and this in the hole here, this is dead easy to, to just tilt and get off like that. So eventually, with a little bit of uh, fiddling about with one hand, what you've got here is everything in the correct position, the springs are still attached, they all go through this loop. They all go through this loop here and uh, all you've got to do is slide it back on. So if you're struggling to get this part back through, just take two bolts off and take this off. It's so good to get off, it's so easy. Um, this has got fresh fueling by the way, for anyone who's watching who's thinking why haven't you changed it. I have actually changed it before I uh, tested this diaphragm and uh, gasket and check this mower was revving up and down so I always do that it's just common sense that you do that 
Um, give this a clean off inside here. Stay from and gasket again. Basically this mower is going to be a dead easy fix this one, just wants a little bit of a service up.